This isn't your typical detail shop. When it comes to cleaning, correcting, and protecting your vehicle, we are the professionals. We are Chicago Auto Club. What's going on everybody? Welcome to season two. We're at Glen Ellen. Super busy week here this week. Today we're getting started with the 1987 Buick Grand National. Nineteen eighty-seven was the last year that Buick produced the Grand National. That year, this car was the fastest produced American-made vehicle. Faster than the Camaro, faster than the Corvette, and faster than the Mustang. We're gonna do a paint correction to this vehicle. We're also putting on a ceramic coating. But before that, this car is gonna get what every car's get. It's gonna go into the prep bay, and we're gonna wash it, we're gonna decontaminate it, we're gonna get the paint surface perfectly smooth so we can do paint correction. Paint is pretty bad. It's got a lot of swirl marks, a lot of scratches but they came to the right place. We're gonna polish everything out before we put the coating on. We want a perfectly clean surface before we protect it. Beautiful 50th anniversary C5 Corvette in for our single step correction package. Hello, my name's uh, Greg Bunn. I'm from Lyme, Ohio. I uh, drove five hours here yesterday to drop off my car to get it a level one uh, detailing on it. It's a 2003 Corvette, got 65,000 miles on it. I've had the car for about 12 years. I bought it uh, used, it had 2,000 miles on it. It's got 64 now on it, and I drive it quite a bit. Put a supercharger on it a few years ago got 605 horsepower, so it'll run. Up next in the shop is the Ford Mustang GT350R. Now if you're wondering what the difference between the regular Mustang GT350 and the GT350R is, I'm going to tell you. First is the GT350R comes with carbon fiber wheels and a carbon fiber rear spoiler. And for weight reduction, the R does not come with a radio, a backup camera, AC, or a back seat. And it also comes with wider Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. Wider tires equals more traction. All right, we're getting ready to wrap this Mustang GT350. The guys got it all prepped for us, washed and decontaminated. Now the guys are polishing up, getting any extra defects off the paint. We're doing the full hood, bumper, fenders, and mirrors, which is a full front clip, and also rockers. So uh, this customer uh, asked us to um, cut around the racing stripe so that there wouldn't be any color difference when the film goes on the front end stripe versus the rear end stripes. This GT350 has matte stripes, and if we put gloss Expel film over the matte stripes, it's gonna make them gloss. The correct way to do this would be actually to put Expel's stealth film over those matte stripes. This customer opted out of doing that for the fear that there would just be too many seams. Whenever we do paint protection on any car, we like to debadge the whole car. The reason why is because we don't like to see any seams anywhere. So we'll do the whole paint protection and then we'll get the badge and put the badge on top of the paint protection. That way we have no seams.
Hey, I'm Tommy. Uh, I'm here with my 911 GT3. I brought it in today to uh, Chicago Auto Pros. I'm excited to get some, uh, some work done. So I've got uh, a uh, clear paint film uh, going on all over from the front to the rockers, uh, fenders, and, and the rear. I've also got a ceramic coat that's going to be applied. I picked out the, the 911 GT3 uh, because it was actually my dream car ever since you know, I, I started reading about uh, this, this new GT3 coming out, uh, the 911. 991 first generation uh, with the 9,000 RPM redline. I was super, super excited and, uh, you know, wanted to not only have one, but obviously be able to whip it around the track uh, and, and, and just go nuts with it. So. We have a lot of projects in the shop going on at the same time right now. Included in that is this 2019 BMW M2 competition. This customer brought us this BMW M2. They had Modesta BCO4 applied to the paint and Expel paint protection film applied to the front bumper. The all new BMW M2 has a lot of upgrades over the previous versions, including the S55 inline six motor taken from the M4. With all that extra power, they installed this carbon fiber reinforced brace to stiffen up the front end. They also made a lot of tweaks to the steering controls and the stability controls. They gave it some bigger rotors and also these new 19-inch wheels. The BMW M2 is getting a little bit of everything. Last week we actually did the paint protection film on the front bumper. E-Man just has some trimming he has to do on the edges. And then it's gonna go to the detailers where they're gonna do some light paint correction. We're coating the exterior as well as the interior with Modesta ceramic coatings. But before we get to that, we have a wash on a newly tinted and ceramic coated Z06. My name's Josh Lamons, and uh, I recently got a stock Z06, and uh, I wanted to get some protection put on it. It didn't have film on it, the, uh, the tint. So I called uh, Chicago Auto Pros. I heard they had a good reputation. They did some work for my, uh, my brother on his Camaro. It turned out phenomenal. I had a full uh, ceramic coating put on there, BCO4. And I, I wasn't really sure what it was at first, but you know, I actually I, I reached out to Jason on his YouTube channel and he answered all my questions. So I, I, agreed, I got in touch with him real quickly and they, they put um, a full coating on it, all the wheels, everything, and uh, it turned out great, man. It shines, it looks, it looks like it's wet all the time. And I mean, it, it stands out, it turns heads. I drive it up to the car show up in Lombard on the weekends and people asking me, you know, how, how do you, did you just wax it? Did you just wax it? I said, no, I just, I just got it washed, you know, because the coating makes it look like it's a fresh wax all the time. And the tint really, really made it turned out, uh, turned out really good. And I got the Stratos put on there. And um, even during the summer with it sitting in the heat, uh, the difference between getting in and out of it before the film was, was huge, man. Like the, the heat reduction from, from the sun's rays and everything was, was pretty big. But uh, they do great work up here, man, and I, I can't, I, I won't go anywhere else for detail. Martin got the inside of the M2 all done. We used Modesta leather coating system on the interior of that. The 9 and 11 and the GT350 are going well. I think they got all the film laid down on both of those cars. They're gonna come back tomorrow and just do all the edge work. We finished up the 50th anniversary Corvette. Greg was super happy with those results. It looks better than the day I had it. Uh, a bunch of my friends on the Corvette Forum talked about this place, bragged it up. I can't say enough about the job they've done and uh, everything they did helped me out. Gave me a car for the day, no hassles, and car's actually done ahead of time. Now I'm, now I'm almost afraid to drive it like I told the gentleman before because it's too clean. But uh, anyway, they did a great job. I mean, the swirls are out. The, I can't see no issues at all. It looks awesome. <laughs> 
We started the paint correction on the Grand National. It's looking pretty good. We actually did a 50-50 shot on the door to see what the finished results were gonna look like. We're gonna be using the Rupes 15 Mark II machine with the Lake Country microfiber pad. And we're also gonna be using Car Pro's clear cut for the compounding stage. This is original single stage paint. It is actually cutting pretty easy, so I am happy with that. But it is getting towards the end of the day. The guys are gonna find a stopping point, and then uh, we're gonna come back tomorrow and do it all again. Subscribe below for the next Chicago Auto Pros detailing vlog. On the next episode, 